The pre-transfusion blood sampling process. If this process is not followed correctly, it can result in wrong blood in tube and potentially patient harm or death. Check all your equipment, including sample tube expiry date, before approaching the patient. Key actions to reduce errors. You must be trained and competency assessed to obtain a sample for pre-transfusion compatibility testing. Refer to local policy for agency staff. All patient identity checks must be performed at the patient's side, using their identification band immediately before you take the sample. Wherever possible, involve your patient. Bleed one patient and complete the whole sampling and labelling process at the patient's side before bleeding another patient. Never label a sample taken by another member of staff. Never use a pre-labelled sample tube. To ensure the correct blood group, a subsequent confirmatory sample may be required and is needed prior to all first-time routine transfusions. Obtaining the confirmatory sample should not delay the delivery of urgent red cells or other components. If a confirmatory sample is required, it must be taken at a separate phlebotomy episode, ideally by a different person and positive patient identification must be performed on each occasion. Are you bleeding the right patient? Check the request for a sample has been fully completed. Always take the request with you to the patient when taking a blood sample. Ask the patient to state their first and last name and date of birth where able. Remember to check the spelling too. For patients unable to identify themselves, refer to local policy. Confirm the verbal response matches the details on the identification band or equivalent. Confirm the verbal response matches details on the request. Ensure that the patient unique number on the request matches exactly the number on the patient identification band. For unknown patients, refer to local policy. If the patient has temporary emergency identification, all identifiers on the patient identification band must match the request. Refer to your local policy. Labeling the sample. Once the sample has been taken, the tube label must be handwritten by the person who took the sample, also signing the request if required. It must be completed in full at the patient side from the identification band. Printed labels are only acceptable if generated from the identification band attached to the patient and produced on demand next to the patient at the same time the sample is taken. Complete all details on the sample tube. First name, last name, date of birth, patient unique number, date that the sample was taken, time that the sample was taken, your signature. Final recap. Has the request for a sample been fully completed? Take it with you to the patient. Has the patient been positively identified prior to taking the sample? Has the sample been correctly labelled next to the patient by the person who took the sample? Do you need to take a confirmatory sample? Remember, take the confirmatory sample at a separate phlebotomy episode, ideally by a different person, and ensure that positive patient identification is performed on each occasion. The blood sampling process should be one continuous and uninterrupted event from patient identification through to labelling the sample. If you are interrupted or distracted, restart the process from the beginning. For further information, please contact your local transfusion team.